Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It is crazy weather in Maryland. We just had snow and it didn't, you know, stick or anything. But we just had snow and then it just turned to the sun being out. And it's about, I can say 40, uh, about 54 degrees. And it's crazy. But anyway, had a good morning, dropped the boys off. Um, start preparing for Valentine's Day because I usually buy the boys something, you know, sweet. So I went to the dollar store to get a couple of things for them, make them a nice little cute basket. And of course it was packed in there. I was just smacking myself like, you just went to the dollar store last week and I could have did it. But anyway, so got them a couple of things. And I said, my husband, I probably um, decorate because, yeah, we probably decorate the living room and probably have a dinner where we're sitting down on the floor enjoying each other. And we're going to get some seafood. Put the boys to bed. You know, they go to bed anyway, 8 o'clock. So, and I bought him a pair of Timberlands because he loves Timberlands. When I say a man, lo he loves Timberlands. But anyway, he loved Timberlands, so I got him a pair. And he's going to be so surprised. And usually, like last time he got me this, he got me an eye, eye watch. And it's a braid. So, this year, I don't know what he's going to get me. I'll be surprised either way, but even if he don't give me anything, I'm so blessed. You know, I'm so blessed. Blessed beyond measures. And usually people say, oh, you don't get men gifts, but I always buy my husband gifts. It don't even take a holiday. We celebrate each other all the time. Whether I'm thinking about him in the store, grab him something, that's just how it goes. I do that with my sisters. I do that with my mom, my dad. Just, that's just how we are. We buy, if we see something we like for somebody else, we buy it. But went to the dollar store. Then I went to, um, what is that, Aldi to get a couple of things. I needed some potatoes. So I went in there and got bag of potatoes. Then I went, <coughs> excuse me, then I went to uh, my son's some Valentine's Day uh, snacks for his class because they're having a little party. And after I did that, I went to Burlington. Y'all, Burlington has so many nice paintings. I'm gonna put a video on here of the paintings, but they're so cool. My son is gonna love them. My sister is gonna love it. They're so cool. So let's look at these paintings found at Burlington. These are really, really nice. Look at that one. I love them. Make sure you stop off at Burlington and look at their paintings. But I had a good day and I was just thinking, because today I wanted to talk about how God took control over my life. I used to want control over my life. I think we all do. But I was off the hook. Like I was mean, I was nasty. I still was going to church. You know, got saved at 18. Did not live up to the potential that I was supposed to be as a follower of Christ. Did not abide by God's word. Did not believe in his word. Did not believe that it can change my life. Now, this is where it took a turn. This is where he took control. Guys, mm -mm. trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to your own understanding. That's why I always repeat that scripture because that's what happened in my life. Um, I was working, making good money. You know, I have a testimony of how God gave me a career and I was making good money at 18. Good money. Dental office, ended up being a manager from, went from front desk to a manager. Even learned how to be an assistant. Um, God really took off. He blessed me. And as I was doing that, I was teaching dance at my church. End up, um, somebody seen me and they said, oh, I want private classes. So I ended up teaching private classes. End up doing that. That took off. God is so true to his word. You know, once you give him control, but that's not when I let him get control. 
Just to tell you, I gave him some of me because I was excited. But then when things start getting taking a turn, I end up getting sick. I got pregnant with my son, who is now nine years old, and it changed my life. I couldn't work anymore. Um, found out I had heart failure. Um, a month, it was three weeks after I had my son. Heart failure. Couldn't breathe. You know, I, whew, I was so surprised because it, it, I was not coughing. You know, sometimes they say that's one of the telltale signs you cough. Wasn't coughing. But end up being labeled as heart failure, 35% of bre breathing. And God took me to a turn of my life. They didn't know what was happening. I spent the hospital 20 days and then finding out it was lupus. And first they said connective tissue disease, but then they said lupus. So, you know, God is faithful because I couldn't work even now. I have so many appointments because I have appointments with every doctor because I have SLE lupus, which affects your organs. So God is faithful because even through this, he's been blessing me. I haven't needed anything. My husband, he takes care of me. You know, I even make a little bit of money because I have so many gifts and I'm be starting my business soon. God is faithful. Once you let him have control over your life, and I gave him control, total control, um, I can say about six years ago. When that happened, that experience with not being able to work and had, had to, you know, I was so, I was used to taking care of me and being independent and controlling everything. That took me to a loop, but God is so faithful. So just trust him, guys. Give total control to him. Let him have it. And see what happens. Watch what happens. I have so much peace. I have so much happiness. He is faithful. He is just. Every time I go into the doctor's office, no, they didn't say I don't have lupus no more. But they did say I'm in remission. You know, it's a blessing. I do have flare-ups. Like I, my skin breaks out into big old hives, which is happening. It happens off and on. But God is faithful. So love you guys and have a blessed day. See ya. I just wanted to bless you. Make sure you spend time with your family and love on them. Bye.